very excited to be with everyone this evening because I get to talk about one of my favorite fitness topics. More on that in a second. Let's all stand up. Let me get all you guys to stand up. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. We're going to move a little bit. You've been sitting too long. Start out, just squeeze your thighs tight, squeeze your butt tight. Get everything in your lower body engaged. Good, good, good. Squeeze. You haven't contracted those muscles all day. Get them going. All right, let's skip. Shoulder rolls. You're going to roll the shoulders forward. Nice and easy. Don't, don't let it get in the neck. Nice and easy. Good, good. Roll the shoulders forward. Roll them backwards now. Backward circles. Good. Yep. Relax. Relax your jaw. Relax everything in your head and neck. Okay, and let's go side to side now, just right here. Being aware of your back. Stay in a comfortable range of motion. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Go ahead and have a seat. And quietly, if you would, please um, raise your hand if you've ever experienced back pain. At any time in your life, raise your hand if you have experienced back pain. Pain. Keep your hands up if you have ever experienced what you would call significant back pain. I mean, it's a 10 out of 10 or at least a 9 out of 10 on the scale. Significant back pain. Keep your hand up. Look around. Look around. I would say that's pretty close to the national average. According to statistics, go ahead and put your hands down. According to statistics, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 Americans will experience significant, significant back pain at some time in their life. 8 out of 10. I couldn't even score that high in school. That's a B minus right there. 8 out of 10 will experience significant back pain sometime in their life. Okay, back to my favorite subject now, the reason why I'm so excited about this fitness talk. It's a very simple concept. Basically, it says, when one muscle shortens, its opposite muscle lengthens. Or if one muscle lengthens, its opposite muscle shortens. There's a cause and effect. There's a relationship there. Here's an example. My bicep shortens. What do you think my tricep is doing? What do you think my tricep is doing, guys? Lengthening, that's right. Um, my, my, my right side is lengthening, my left side is shortening, right, this is not rocket science. My hip flexors shorten, right here. My glutes lengthen, right. Simple concept, right? The name of this concept, it's called reciprocal inhibition. Don't worry about the name, you guys got the concept, that's all you need to know. Basically, the reason why it's my favorite concept, my favorite concept out of anything, more important than my uh, perception of lifting weights, cardio, anything else, reciprocal inhibition holds the key to unlocking our back pain. This is why I think it's so amazing. I've been through it myself, and I, I am here to help everyone do it. Well, that wasn't on the card. So here's an example. What do most of us do all day long? We sit. We sit all day long. Okay? We get out of bed. We might, we might stretch. We sit on the toilet. We sit at our breakfast table. We get in the car, we sit in our car, we get to work, we sit at our desk for 8, 10 hours a day. Then we go back to our car, we sit in our car, we go home, we sit and we eat our dinner, and then we sit on the toilet and we go to bed. Some of you go to the gym, and that's great. When we sit, our hip flexor is... Short or long, guys? Short or long? Short, right? Meaning our glute is long. So here's my... Here's my spine. Your hip is short. I'm going to make the hip a little shorter. And see how there's that angle now. I'm hanging the spine in gravity. Now we have an angle in our pelvis. We have a flexion. We have a flexion, which is this way, right? 
No big deal, you say. My back is still neutral. That's because your leg is in front of your back. Now what happens when we take this leg and make the leg neutral like most of you stand? We make the leg neutral, what happens? What do we have to do to the back, to the spine? Because that hip flexor is too tight to open up properly. So what gives? The back. Eight out of ten Americans will experience significant back pain at some point in their lives. And I believe it's because we set ourselves up for it. We set ourselves up to experience this significant back pain. So, let's come off that for a minute. There's a law of cause and effect, right? If I drop this ball, it's going to hit the ground. If I say F you to the big buff guy in the bar, he's probably going to punch me. There are certain things that if I do this, this will happen, right? If I, uh, if I speed on the freeway and a police officer pulls me over, whose fault is that? What is the cause of that whole situation? What is the cause, the root cause of this traffic ticket was me speeding, right? Simple, that's a simple example to understand. It gets a little tricky when we talk about cause and effect with our health, okay? Especially back pain, or specifically back pain, okay? We're all living with these effects. A lot of us are living with these effects. We're living with pain. With pain comes our desire to cure the pain. And for many of us, unfortunately, it leads to invasive treatments. Okay. Um, uneven wear patterns on the joints. You guys ever get a pair of new shoes and they look brand new, but six months later they look just like your old shoes? Because the wear patterns are the same, right? Like maybe the outer heel is wearing unevenly or something like that. Same thing happens with our joints. Your hip, your shoulder, your, your back. Every joint has a certain wear pattern because of our mechanics going in and out our, our entire day, basically. Now, hold on. Do you guys, how do you guys, when you get these pains, these aches and pains, how do you guys manage them? What do you do? What, what's your next course, course of action? Well, according to statistics, again, the top three, the top three things that Americans do are number one, pop a pill. Number two, go to the doctor where the doctor prescribes a pill. And number three, is uh, blah, 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 whatever number three is. Okay. The similarity that I see between all three of those things is that they're all dealing with this effect, right? You guys ever watch a medic, uh, you ever watch on TV and a commercial comes on for a, a prescription drug and the, maybe the prescription drug treats this many symptoms, but it has this many side effects? I always thought, I, I mean, I was watching TV once and I thought it was literally, I thought it was a Saturday Night Live skit. It was hilarious, but sad at the same time. It was hilarious and very, very sad at the same time. When you're over here and you're dealing with effects, my back went out, oh, take this. Oh, that's causing my liver to flare up, oh, take this. Oh, da -da -da -da, take this, take this. And we're like a little patchwork quilt. They're like, oh, this one out, fix it here. This one out, fix it like that, like that. It's like, um, what I think of is like a, a leaky canoe and I'm just going to take bubble gum and pop it in there and pop it in and pop it in. When I'm not asking myself, why is, the, why is the canoe leaking in the first place? So if we come over here, every cause has an effect, right? The, the speeding, I'm speeding, right? I'm speeding over here, over here. The police officer pulls me over, gives me a ticket. Okay, um, I'm I, I I run down the stairs and I take a fall. Okay, the key with all these aches and pains that we have, it's it it adds up. I understand, but what we need to do is turn it back, 
and figure out what is causing it in the first place. What is causing the majority of these aches and pains? So what I see, because there's a book called um, Mommy Medicine, and um, this, it's a children's book, and it, this book basically details that there are a lot of things that Western medicine, that um, emergency care can deal with. But that's at the top of the ladder. Why go do that when the answer might be as simple as drinking more water and eating better and just having a simple exercise program? Why get all the way down to this, to the drugs, to the IVs, all these other things, when you can take care of it over here? That's where I'm coming from, at least. My my experience and my position and one of the reasons why I believe this that it's way more important to, to do this and accomplish bleh, I'm talking too much okay over here is muscle imbalance stress, poor food choices lack of exercise lack of motivation lack of a inspiring thing to do in your life okay Good start, good start.